on this team, in the stands, the alumni, they will all say, Tyler, this one is for you. Purdue Athletics gave Tyler so much happiness, yeah. just so much to live for and to think about. He was meant to be at Purdue. He was meant to be on this campus for the time that he was. And I think seeing the community and the students and the teachers and professors, Mitch Daniels, coaches, to see mm -hmm. that abundance of support and love. I mean, what parent doesn't want to know that their child is loved like that? That's, that's something we couldn't have known to even ask for. But on some of our hardest days, the Purdue community got us through. I remember um, going to get a parking pass for him and when we were there was a huge line and we were waiting to get the parking pass and uh, the lady essentially told us that they would do whatever it took for Tyler um, and if he didn't have a spot to park his car they would create one for him. I remember just dr just driving down the road crying um, and ha being so joy filled to know that he had a spot he could drive his car and wouldn't have to walk. And I just think that that speaks to not only the character of the people who work at Purdue, but also the kind of people that are at Purdue. He wasn't shy, and if he wanted to know you or get to know you, he would reach out or he would just make that happen. Somehow he always seemed to make that happen. And I know he and David Blau, I think that was the original friendship that was struck up among the football players. He would just always let David know he was thinking about him before games and praying for him. I think every week he got a card from one of the women's volleyball players. He was constantly being sent things from all different sports across the board. When the captains came and gave him, it was the Nebraska um, game ball, even though he had had, you know, touches of these relationships over his freshman year, that's really when mm -hmm. it took off. Seeing all the signs of the support for Tyler, um, it was amazing. To think about, you know, everything that they did for him. I remember I, I looked down at Tyler and I said, hey, Tyler, this is all is for you. And he just would shake his head and, and cry. Mm -hmm. okay. And you don't understand like what it means for families to go through um, something so hard and so difficult. And just to get a reprieve and not have to think about cancer uh, for a little while and to feel normal was amazing. It is intercepted. Bailey, the, other way. the whole night was, it was magical. It really was. And to go in the field and have everybody chant his name practically in the entire stadium, it just gave us new life. Boiler up! We will never forget being in the locker room and a lot, a lot of people have seen clips of that and Coach Brom talking to Tyler and letting Tyler say a few words and just to see the players coming in and bending down and you know fist bumping him and shaking his hand and thanking him he would just humbly shake his head like oh this you know this isn't about me yeah. just the camaraderie between what the football team gave Tyler and what Tyler gave the football team is priceless just hearing from them gives me a piece of my son back You couldn't have come here if it wouldn't have been for uh, someone extending their hand out and saying, hey, look, let us help. Yeah. Well, because they did that, not only does Tyler have a story, but I, Purdue has a story as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's an example of how we really all should live our lives and be Boilermakers. Mm -hmm.